today we're going to set up NFS. Um, and NFS is it's a means of file sharing in Linux and, and Unix environments. Now, if you were going to do this in a Windows environment, you want to use Samba and SIFS. Uh, that's another story. But in, in a Unix and Linux environment, it, it's, a, it's a good tool, and it's commonly used. It uses the Network File System Protocol, hence the name NFS, which was developed by Sun Microsystems in the Orwellian year of 1984. Um, it's built on the Open Network Computing Remote Procedure Call, or ONC RPC system. And by default, in Ubuntu 1010 Maverick Meerkat, it's not installed. So you'll want to set this up and actually install it. Um, I'm going to go and I'm just going to use sudo apt-get here. So sudo apt-get and I want to install and I'm going to do nfs and I'm going to do kernel and server and if you're prompted just say yes. You need to install the daemons and, and the services before we can start modifying configure you know, configuration files and exporting things. Okay, um, now I need to make some directories to export and to simplify that um, I'm just gonna, you know, I'm in the root directory and I'm just gonna you know, put them out here so the paths are easy to to kind of see or to ascertain. So, um, mkdir, and I'm gonna do data1 and 2 and three, okay, in all caps. And by my umask 0022, the default permissions, if you were to list those, if I were to go up here, you'd see that they're all 755. Um, I'm gonna leave two and three as read only, but I wanna make one writable. And I could probably do 775, but I'm just gonna do 777. And obviously, won't, won't, don't wanna put anything secure there, but um, sudo chmod 777 and data one. Okay, so. And again, we so you know you want to set up the POSIX permissions or local permissions. And again, just like with Samba, remember Samba, it's it's what you the permissions you set up sharewise in the Samba conf file, as well as the permissions you have locally on the system in POSIX. Um, it's the same way with NFS. What you export, you have permissions there. You can do read only or read write, and also it's the combination of your POSIX permissions. It's when you combine these permissions. Remember, it's the most restrictive combination of the two. And actually, it works the same in Windows. If you look at access control entries on a discretionary access control list, um, the local permissions in Windows combine with the, the network share permissions and the most restrictive combination of the two applies. So, you know, locally if I have full privileges, but sharewise I have read only, then I have read only across the network. Um, let's go and we're going to look at our We're going to look at our file now, um, our exports file. So I want to cat, etc, and exports, which is the configuration file for NFS. And like everything else, it's an etc. And I'm going to edit it. So sudo nano. Uh, I'll need root privileges so I can save. And etc and exports. And then what I want to do down here, you know, I start out with a blank file, but I, I want to add my directory structure. So um, in this case, data1. And then the network I'm on is 199.207.13 uh, and 0. Use the network portion of the address, by the way. And I'm going to add the subnet mask, so it's just a class C subnet mask. Um, and in addition to that, I need to specify what kind of sharing I want to set up when I export the file system. So it'll be read write and it'll be synced, so synchronous. I'm going to do the second one now, um, data 2. And again, 199.207.13.0.255.255.255. Zero subnet mask. And this time I'm going to do um, just to show you the difference. Even though I'm sharing this as read write, because the local permissions were read only, you know, read and execute, you'll see that the combination of the two, you'll still only have um, read only privileges on that directory, even though. The exports file says read write. If the POSIX permissions say read only, you just have read only. But um, here on data data three here, just to show you, um, you know, another option. I'm going to do two hundred seven thirteen zero same subnet mask two five five two five five zero. Oops, left off my zero there. 
That would have been a problem. And you know, I could also specify read only if I wanted to in that file. Okay, so I have these three entries in my exports file here. And now what this will let me do is, um, you know, once I, I restart the daemons and save my config file, I'll be able to mount these from another Unix or Linux client. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and save this. I'm gonna do Control X Y and hit Enter to save it. I'm gonna verify it. Um, again, just verify that you know there are my directories. The paths are right. Make sure your your POSIX permissions and your NFS share permissions are set up properly. And then the next thing that you'll want to do uh, is export the file system. So I'm gonna run a command here. sudo and export uh, fs and I'm going to use the dash a option just to kind of update the the exported file system um, okay looks like yeah things are a little bit different since I, I set this up in, in Red Hat and, and Fedora last time but Alright, and then I just want to, you know, basically restart uh, the daemons or the services. Let me see, I have, to, I have the Red Hat path. Okay, here's the Ubuntu path, I believe. So I'm going to do sudo and etsy and init d and uh, nfs kernel uh, server and restart. Put it in a different place. Okay, so I restarted it with with the newly exported file system. So now everything should be all right on on the server side, and I just want to you know try connecting to it from the client. 